If more of you guys watch my videos, there's a really good chance that I could not do my day job while I'm just getting bombarded with collector editions that I want to look at. So let that be a lesson to you. Watch more of my videos so I could just do this full time because it's way more fun than what I'm currently working on. Today we're taking a look at the Callisto Protocol Collector's Edition from uh, GameStop, actually. So it's going to be a GameStop exclusive bundle. It's going to run you $250 US. It's available right now. I'm posting this video a little late, but it did actually drop maybe an hour ago. I'm not so convinced this one's going to sell out right away because it's very pricey. Although the Clipso Protocol is definitely a very desired game. comes to us from the creators of the original um, Dead Space games. Very, very similar vein. Space horror, third-person combat, lots of just jump scares and violence and darkness. and I love it. I can't wait. I'm definitely going to be picking up this game. Collector edition? I don't know. I'm on the fence on it. Let's talk about why. What's $250 going to get you? Well, uh, it's going to get you uh, a really interesting... Can I make this any bigger? It's, it's going to make. It's going to get you a very... Look at that. I'm actually... There we go. My God. Stupid thing. <laughs> uh, it's going to get you some uh, interesting stuff, but you got to ask yourself when you're looking at something like this, why so much? Um, we know Bandai Namco, and this is not by Bandai Namco, this is by Krafton, but we know Bandai Namco loves their collector editions, their incredibly inflated collector editions, their $300 SpongeBob SquarePants statues and things along that nature. So I don't think I'm surprised anymore when I see a collector edition that runs at a pretty large price. That said, I'm not really sure this is worth $250. Now, there's a couple things they did right. The first thing they did right is they're actually giving you a physical disc, which is really cool. As we talked about in previous collector editions that we just looked at on this channel not three days ago, you know, like God of War, for example, they're just giving you a digital voucher. And that seems to be a big point of contention between getting a digital code and the physical disc. So first and foremost, you are going to be getting the quote unquote day one edition with a physical disc. You're also going to be getting some digital goodies to go along with that, including the season pass. And I don't know yet if they've really described what the season pass entails um, there might be some information out there, but um, I don't know what it is offhand. You're also going to be getting some skins and some weapon skins. You could see them on the right side of the screen there. So you start off with a little bit cooler cosmetics than what the standard player would start with. You're also going to get a really nice steel book. And the steel book definitely pops. Uh, I love that steel book. Looks really, really good. You're going to get that. So you're going to take that lovely disc uh, that you got and put it in your new steel book and put it on your shelf, which is great. You're also going to get a pair of collectible pins. Uh, it looks like two pins there. Logos from the game. I'm not really entirely sure what those logos depict. It will probably make more sense as we play through the game together. But you're going to get some pins. You're also going to get a comic book, uh, the number zero edition of a comic book, which I assume is either going to set up some of the story or run in parallel to the story, potentially with ancillary characters. That seems to be very common where you get a lot of comic book tie-ins into the game. I know Gears of War did this pretty successfully and so did Halo. Just kind of fleshing out the lore of the universe around the game as well. But the real reason you're buying this collector's edition is for the Jacob statue, which looks to be a pretty decent size if... We are going to take everything to scale, which it's always hard to do. But a lot of times on these collector editions, they take the mock-up of the box and they put it in front of the physical game case. And here they have done just that. So you know what a standard size jewel case should entail, that size. It looks to be about two times the size of that and about two and a half times the width of that. Yes, it's a very technical measurement, but it kind of gives you a rough idea of how tall this thing is. And we can get some... Pretty interesting information just based off of that. Here's a picture of uh, Jacob. Looks like he is leaning back um, and this enemy is approaching him and he's got a gun in each hand, which looks really, really cool. Uh, leaning back, getting ready to uh, take a shot at this pretty grotesque looking monster. I love the fact that, and I talk about this in every collector edition video that I do, 
I love the fact that the base does not say Callisto Protocol. And as a matter of fact, the word Callisto doesn't seem to be written anywhere on here. And I'm very appreciative of that. I like the fact that the characters are in a really cool action pose. A lot of times you get these kind of dialed in collector editions where a character is just standing there or standing upright, not really doing anything exciting. Here we got some really cool terrain for Jacob to lean against. We got the enemy that is approaching him. Uh, looks horrifying. Looks like he's splitting in two. Um, he's got some really nasty like sores or grossness down his right thigh. And you can see like his rib cage and some of his guts actually like splayed open in the center. Incredible detail on this enemy. And then as far as Jacob is concerned, um, it looks good. The armor looks awesome. Leaning back, you know, in a, like, like I said, in this kind of defensive combat pose, kind of like leaning up against the wall, like a last ditch effort. So I think it looks pretty cool. I wish we had more information on it in terms of depth or in terms of weight or height. I assume it's made out of the standard same resin that is made of every, you know, the, the plastic that's made out of every other collector edition. I wouldn't think that there's any reason to think that wouldn't happen. Um, it's just a very grotesque looking statue. And I guess you got to ask yourselves when you want to look at these types of collector editions and statues in your house, is this something you want to look at in six months from now after the game is long gone and you've beaten it? That's the question. I picked up the Days Gone Collector Edition that picks Deacon St. John leaning against his motorcycle. There's a zombie, well, they call them freakers in that game, with a bullet wound in his head, oozing a bunch of gore. And uh, there's times I look at him like, you know, I really like Days Gone a lot, but this is kind of like... I could have just done with Deacon just hanging out on his motorcycle. <laughs> so in a sense, when you look at this, it's like it's probably not for everyone because of just the fact that it is kind of grotesque and kind of hideous in a good way. I mean, obviously, that's what the game is styled after. But um, just keep that in mind, obviously. Uh, it, as I said, it is available right now. You can pick it up for pre-order. I'm going to go and shrink my console or my uh, screen here down just a smidge. Uh, it says $250. Uh, it's available now. It comes out uh, early December. Pre-order, it's in stock. They'll ship it to you. Um, you go pick it up at the store, whatever you want to do. Uh, keep in mind, this is a GameStop exclusive. So if you want to pick this up, it's got to be a GameStop. It's not Best Buy. It's not Target, not Walmart. None of those. None of the other big box stores. Even the ones you guys have across the pond. None of that. As far as I know, you're going to have to get this from GameStop only. Uh, for me, like I said, I think it's a little steep in price. Very excited for the game. Absolutely plan on playing it on PlayStation 5 day one. Uh, probably just a standard edition for me, though. But... If you are interested, I will post a link to this uh, well, um, ordering page in the description box below. While you're down there, consider leaving me a comment or even subscribing because you know what? We love having you guys here. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.